Hey, Sally. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh my God, your daughter's too cute. Oh my God. <laughs> She's so funny. That's the little one, right? Uh-huh, one of the twins, yeah. She is, she is too much. She's funny. She's like, I am not doing math unless I can do it in the chan with the chandelier. I'm like, <laughs> listen, I like, hear oh, you. Girl. I too don't want to do math ever. <laughs> oh God, no. 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 My, yeah. I have a feel. I hope that I can get there. Your oldest daughter, I forget her name, just escaped me. Samara. Samara. Right. So, how was her workload from um, BT? Um, it's amazing. I mean, she's got live classes all day long, every day. Right. Yeah, tests, and I mean, it's really. I wish she was in the building for what I'm paying, but. but I know. I know. <laughs> but I know. And today it's like Yom Ha'atzmaut, like Israel's Independence Day, and they're doing like festivities all day long she's got masada tactical doing stuff with her and i mean so good. yeah good. good but um and then um leah does she have enough to do or not really no leah jordana and drew it's like a it, joke you know uh, yeah. yeah a joke but they're trying to add on more instruction like they're adding 30 minutes a day now of actual All right. Hello, everyone. How are we doing today on this beautiful Wednesday? Nice, sunny day today. We got to get this workout over with so we can all get outside and enjoy this weather, right? So a couple things we're going to need today, if you didn't read my post on that, um, some household things we need. So lightweight, you have them. If you don't have lightweights, we know our stuff. Grab some cans, grab some bottled water. Um, you need a mat or a carpeted area. We do our work on the floor. If you have a small exercise ball, great. If not, grab a small pillow that you can use instead. Um, two hardback books or one yoga block. If you have a yoga block, you can use the yoga block. If you have your books, thicker hardback books, because we're going to use them to stand on as a balancing thing with our yoga, yoga block. Um, counter or a chair for your support. Um, or your bar. And that's all we really need today, and we'll get ourselves moving here. All right, let me get my music going. So make sure you have some space around you. So let's stand with our feet. Let's take a nice big inhale up. As we exhale, run as much to the bend, those knees forward, do a little narrow squat, and then big inhale up. Exhale down. Again, big inhale up. Exhale down. Nice. Get that body moving, that kind of flowing. Those arms up overhead, and those knees. Okay, let's do two more like this. Nice. Now let's inhale up. I want you to flat back forward, forward, drop those fingertips to the floor, then slowly turn around, set back all the way back up. Inhale, arms overhead, flat back, fold towards the floor, step, round that back. Big inhale up. Flat back. Okay, round it all the way up. I've been thinking a lot more than usual. Feeling really stiff, so this feels good. Lower down, step. Perfect. Four more like this. Softening those knees as we reach to the floor. Just try to keep that back all the way flat until you reach those fingertips down. And we round it all the way back up. Two more. Okay, last one. Beautiful. Let's take our hands by our side. Round arms. I want you to take your right heel up off the floor. Arms up overhead. And then drop those heels. 
shoulder goes on their head. And so we're bending that knee, flexing into the foot. Beautiful. Take it to both heels at the same time. So both heels bend, both knees bend.
Super job. Stay with it. Make sure that right hand is underneath that right shoulder. I want you to open up that left arm. 
towards your mat, go across your feet. Find your regular straight arm play. Now we'll do some rocket and forward and back here. Forward and back. Come on to the toes back through the heels. Pull that belly in tight. Straight line to the toe. Legs last four, three, two on one. You're gonna plank those hips, soften those knees, walk those hands towards your feet. All the way back up. We're gonna switch it out. So this time we're standing at the back of our mat again. We're gonna take that left foot, cross it over our right. We're gonna pull down, walk ourselves out, and do that play. Now you've got that right foot crossed over your left. They're going to tap out to the right and then back over that foot. Keep your left hip twisted towards that back. Keep that belly folded tight. Those hands right up the shoulders. Excellent. No tap. 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 At eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. So keep that right foot crossed over your left. Make sure that left hand is underneath your shoulder. Hold it up. That side plank. Right arm up. Left hip down. Then we'll tap. And that that right hand. Reach and attack. Reach. Keep that left hand lifted. Keep those feet centered. Nice. Four more in there. Three, two, and one. Let's fly. That's where you are playing again. Fight center. If you can keep yourself from taking a break here, this time I want you to stack your right foot over your left and rock it forward and back. So you're bouncing on that left leg, shifting the weight forward and back. Four eight more here, then we'll switch. That's four, three, two, one. Right foot down, left over the right. Shift it forward and back. Final eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna drop to your knees, press back to that child's pose. Great work, excellent. Shoulders away from the ears, turn those palms up towards the ceiling. Okay, it's not finished with our plank work just yet. Let's come on out to our forearm plank this time. So we're just gonna walk ourselves out to our forearm. Elbows line up right over the shoulder. Walk those feet back. From here, I want you to take your right knee only and tap and straight just the right knee. So just right, right knee tap, straight. Right knee tap, straight. Right knee tap, straight. Keep that gaze right in front of your hands. Tap, straight. Tap, straight. Tap, straight. Now that left knee, just the left. Tap, straight. Tap, straight. Tap, straight. Tap, straight. Tap. Straight, tap, straight, tap, straight. Let's go straight. Right, left, right, left. Now we're jogging those knees. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Go back to right, left, right, left. Beautiful. Tap, tap, tap. Nice strong pace. Super fast here. Tap, 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 tap. Last 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two. Just one, hold that forearm plank. Hold, just stop the knee, tap and hold. Strength and stillness. Bring it through it. Super strong here. Last four, three, two. And one, knees down, see to your heels. Great work. Awesome. So I'll switch it up a little bit, and since we're already on our mat, we're gonna do a little bit more forward. I know there's some of you that didn't even have a class early online, and they're like, oh, she goes to four at the end, I don't like four. Not doing four at the end today, just doing it now. So if you can grab your pillow or 
your exercise ball, whatever your prop is, then it's a substitute of all. It should be something squishy. Even if you ball up a towel, that will work. I want to hold it between the bottom of our leg. So inside our calves, above our ankle. Okay? So we're going to come down. We're going to take our legs, lower our legs to the tabletop. Hands are going to be behind our head, nice and gentle. You're going to curl up with your hands behind your head, and then you're going to curl with straight arm. So you're going to curl and crunch, and then curl and crunch with straight arms. So you're going to keep those legs right in the tabletop, and you're going to be squeezing onto your bra as you do it. Chin away from your chest. Perfect. Nice. On this next one, we're going to hold it up. We're going to extend the arms out with the palm. The arm. Palm down. Palm, palm, palm. You can squeeze your prop, your ball, or your pillow between your legs. Or if you don't have anything, just move those legs towards each other. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. You're lifting up a little higher. Shoulder blades are lifted. Coordinated. Squeeze and hug. Nice. Let's see if we keep pumping and straighten the legs. Pump the arms. And then add that squeeze of the legs again. So as straight as you can get your legs. I know we all have different flexibility here. Beautiful, fantastic. You've got me. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg up. Squeeze onto your pillow or ball, hands behind your head. Lower your legs to your lowest point. Hang it onto your front. Then take them back up towards the ceiling without lifting your hips. So no hip up yet. Keep your feet down. Control the low abs. And turn that low back into the back. Drop your head if your neck is bothering you. So we lower down and lift. Really pull that belly and keep it tight. Next, you've got eight more like this. Then we're going to add that hip lift. Six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your head and neck. Take your hand right under your seat. Keep your prop between your feet. You're going to lower the leg down just like you were, but this time I want you to lift your hips. Your seat up off your hands. Just relax that head and neck. Super. Nice. Eight more here. Breathe in through. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take those legs back to tabletop. Hang on your prop. Arms nice and wide. Out to the seat. Take those knees over to the right without touching the floor. Then control over to the left. A little modified windshield wipers here. Left and right. Make sure it's feel good. A little massage on that spine as we twist side to side. Work those obliques. Flat for each side. Three. Two. And one, I want you to take those legs back up to the ceiling. Grab your prop, whether it's a pillow, ball, or towel. Take it in your hands overhead. Lower the legs. Take it back up. Transfer. So we do this all the time in class. If it bothers your neck, and the neck stay down, you add that hip lift to transfer your prop from your hands to your legs. But you're working those low abs. Super those low abs should be on fire right now. We got any more. Here's seven. Here's six. Five. Four. 
this time arms by our side. Take them out to the lateral range. Slow it down. Slow it down. Perfect. Good job. One more people low. Three, two, one. Arms out. Hold them nice and low. We tuck here and we flip our palms up and down. Palms up, palms down. I will tuck your sleeve and your pelvis. If you can, stay low. Breathing here. We're just eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, arms down and back up. Back for our little break, our little transition. Okay, breathe so our legs are long toward the side of the room. Standing, please, on those knees. Four more here. Three, two, and one. This time, get low. Take your hands together. I will do the stir the hot and circle the hips. So we stay low. We circle the arms. We circle those hips one direction. Then we reverse. So other way with the arms, other way with the hips. Stay as low as you can. Make last four, three, two, one. Take the weight of the fire chest. Stand it up for three pounds. So if you're standing, you're so Bending and straightening in that three, I with the heels up. If you're on your knees, if you're lifting tall, tapping that seat to your wall or your pillow, pressing those knees out. Okay, so that's one more and hold. Three, two, one. We're going to take the weight to wire and hold as we can. Hold that upper. If you're on your knees, hold your upper and your plie. Heels up. Three. Okay, so you extend the arms out to the side. Four, three, two, one arms out front. Four, three, two, one arms up overhead. Four, three, two, one. Back center last time. Four, three, two, and one. Drop your weight. Remove your front. If you're on your knees, come up to standing if you can. Grab your chair or your countertop. Let's give ourselves a little broad stretch and half stretch. We walk our right foot back. Go for the floor. Okay, come up to standing. Grab that right foot in your hand. Feet in eight. Feel the feet. And the forward. You need to rotate the ankle. The blade. Then switch out. Left foot back, go for the floor. Grab that ankle with your hands over the feet. And go ahead and just rotate the ankle. Next, grab your heavier weight for me. We're going to finish up that arm work. So we're going to do some single leg deadlifts. We're going to go into a nice tight row and some tricep work from there. So your heavy weight. You're going to balance on that left. Right leg is going to go back behind you. Nice straight arm and palm facing you. So you're stopping that left leg. Reach down, find your balance. All the way back up. Super. Nice and slow and control here. I'm only doing 80. So just four. Take the knee fit. Good. 
seven. And that last one. Well, I think we're going to stand it up. We're going to extend that right leg back. We're going to keep our balance here on that left leg. Turn your palms to face each other. We're going to do a nice big stroke. Face your head as you go. Lift that right leg a little higher. Keep it light just behind you. Keep your belly pulled in. Okay, so keep that weight all in that left leg. Keep your balance here. Option always to drop that toe. If you want to get rid of the balance, go for a yard. Four more of these. Three, two, and one. We're going to hold those elbows back behind us. We're going to extend for that tricep to get back. And then if you want to bend, you will appeal to the feet. You're working that balance. Get that right leg active, that hamstring work in. Feel the seat. And really extend the arms back. Four more. We're going to drop that right foot. Three, two, one. Drop that right foot down. Just the top of it. Our palms up. I want to pull it out. So stay this forward. Go work in those triceps. Let those weights rest in the palm of your hand. Okay, so we'll pull this up, up, up. Okay, nice. pull that hold up. Now let's do this. In, in, in. If you're making a balance here, because that right toe is down, but we're still shifting that weight forward. Give it that left. Bend into that left knee. Let's provide it. We lift up, we hit. Lift up, we hit. Lift, we lift, we lift, we lift, we lift. Last four, three, two, last and final one. Nice job. So we're just putting that left leg back and back behind us and down on that break for that dead break. So palms face each other this time. Soften that right leg. Find your balance, extend that left leg, all the way back up. If you're a little shaky, that's okay. Just try to really draw that angle and towards your spine. Get back to our sight. Okay, so this is number four. We only have eight of these. Okay, two more. Last one. Come up nice and tall. I want to put your palms to face you. Extend that leg behind you, nice wide row. And then lift that left leg back behind you with that little pulse. Elbows come up to overhead. Super. Stay with it here. Stay stable on that right leg. Okay, we've got four more. Three, two, and one. I don't want to take those off to face you. Stay inward. Stay balanced on your right. We'll pull this up here. Left leg pulls in two. Beautiful. Let's drop that left toe. We're going to throw a little bend and straight. Bend the string at the elbow. Still shift that way forward. Into that right leg. Bend and press. Shift forward. Right, let's see if we can combine those two together. So we lift up, bend straight. Lift up, bend straight. Lift, bend straight. Lift, bend straight. Lift, bend straight. Last four. Three, two, last and final one. Nice job. Drop those things for me. 
Give our arms a quick stretch. Let's take that left arm across. Relax that shoulder. That left arm reaches back behind us, down center of our back. Push over to the right. Look at the left. Back center, right arm across. Down the shoulder. Right arm back behind you. Down the center, over to the left.
where I am. Push me diagonal across your body like this. Point your toes, so you're breathing on to your front. From there, I want you to press that. Just like you back on the diagonal now, just trying to keep your clear towards your bar or your counter. And your toes point at your side, so it's a different feeling. I have to keep your heels squeezing towards your seat like a top left. Bend into that left a little bit. Keep your little dart going back and across that body. Fantastic. Hey, we're here for four more. Roll back. Three, two, one. We're going to go back here. We're going to speed that ball now. You're holding back on that diagonal and you're changing the shape of your frog. I see the board. Not supporting light. should really be feeling it here because you're leaning into it. Try to lean into the instep. Perfect. You got it. Four more. We go nine. Three, two, one. Now we go back and squeeze. Back, squeeze. So start and squeeze. Start, squeeze. We'll follow the diagonal. Start, squeeze. Start, squeeze. Start, squeeze. Start, squeeze. Start, squeeze. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep it back on that diagonal. If you can drop to your left forearm for me. So you keep that right back on the diagonal. I want you to lift it up and open out. And lift all of it out. Now right hand opens up. Open it up. Open it up. Fantastic. Four more. Three, two, one. Hold it up there. Remove your prop. Remove the prop. Take your own side of the floor, wherever. From here, we're going to straighten and then straighten. Set that right hand down to rest on that left form. So it's pointed here. Now let's hold nice and tight. Four more. Three, two, one. We're going to hold it straight, hold it up, and lift. Lift, lift, lift. So you lift it out of that left leg. Don't collapse into it. This right hand is open. So it's pointed. Take it down yourself, give your right arm up. Right arm up towards the ceiling if you can. Hold that wrist in a circle. One direction to a circle with your right toe. Let's switch directions the other way. Okay, hold it here, take it down, and up. Tap the fork and lift. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn towards your bar, take your right foot back behind you. In the end of the step. So step back, that quick leg on the seat. Step back, knee in. Step back, knee in. Step back, knee in. Step back, knee in. Work it. Okay, let's hold it back and let's pull it. Okay, stay loaded in that left. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 
other one, and we pull it off. Shake it out. Let's go ahead and take our right foot over our left. Sit back and go to the next for a stretch. From the standing, left over the right. Take a seat, figure four. Great work. We're switching sides. I'm going to move my arm to the other side. So this time we'll be working our left. Our left leg, right? All right. So right across. We're going to be standing on your block or your book with your right foot. And your ball or your pillow is going to be behind that left foot. Stand nice and strong on top of that right knee. So we did have left foot for this piece. Back, 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 back. Good. Good. Keep that core nice and tight. Keep that nice free and hold with that left foot. Knees come in alignment with each other. This knee does not come in front of your right. Working that stuff, moving the knee. That right hand. Working back, 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 back. Make sure you're going directly back, straight behind you. We're not on that diagonal yet. So working that hamstring. Light touch on your support. Nice and soft. Four more. Three, two, one. Now we're going to hold it back over to the feet. Go to the So that left knee is right behind your right. And you're squeezing. Two, two, two. And you can change your prop. If you don't have anything behind that leg, you can squeeze your heel towards your feet. Four squeezes here, A four will combine it. Four, three, two, one. Now we'll press back and then repeat. Press back, 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 press back. Everyone, last four, three, two, last one. So now that you on that diagonal, so it's pointed, you're going to become that diagonal dart and you press back. Back, back. We still keep those hips square towards our support. I'm slightly turned toward the camera so you can see the trying to keep it square. And then we're going back on the back until it's pointed and you're holding on the right front. I have that left. Now left hand frame, the glute should be nice and shaky. I saw that. Yeah. Breathing for that time. Next bag, we're starting. Got four more. Two, one, hold back to those squeezes. So we hold that left knee back on the diagonal behind that right. It's on the point that we squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Super thin, soft, and supporting leg the whole time. Four, three, two, last 
one and then the right hand down on the right forearm, down on your support arm. So flip open all the way out and then back down. Flip open out and back down. Open up. Get that leg up there. Okay. One more, hold it up. Three, two, one. Remove your ball. And then straight. Two, 
One, put your palms up, reach here. Out and pull back, that nice curving platter. Squeeze it off, squeeze it off, squeeze it off. Heels are up, sides are working two. Two for one here. Four more, three, two, one, waist in by your chest. Get as low as you can. Take as low as you can, hip squeeze to the side together. Build up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three through it. Five, ten, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on out and drop those feet. Awesome job. Let's find our way down to the mat so we can stretch. Hope everyone is feeling better than they started. Come on down. Lay yourself down on your mat on the floor. And let's just hug those knees in towards our chest. Nice and tight. We'll extend just our right leg. Left knee in towards our left shoulder. We'll cross it over for a final twist and set up that one. Back center, really hug that right knee in. Cross it over your body. You will let's extend that right leg up towards the ceiling. Take those hands behind on the side. You want to walk those hands up towards your ankle and lift your head and shoulders up off the mat. Find a nice stretch there. Pulling that right knee towards you. And then Walk yourself down, keep those hands behind the thigh on the knee. That right knee, and just let that leg fall open to the right side. And circle that right ankle, both directions. Take it back up to center, kind of cross that body. Back center, knees, lengthen that right leg. Take that left leg up towards the ceiling, hands behind your thigh, pull the tip over the up. You can walk yourself down, keep those hands right underneath the knee, let that left side let it open out the thigh. We're going to take the time to stretch. We don't want to rush through everything, we want the next thing. Your body will thank you if you stretch properly. Don't be a sore tomorrow. Don't take that off the head of the knee. Come back to center. Both knees in towards your chest. One hand on each knee. Just circle those directions. Loosen each leg with the knee there. We'll rock your arms to sitting. We'll spread those legs nice and wide. And we'll walk our fingertips forward. Reaching for those toes, shoulders away from the ears. Get a nice hamstring stretch here by grabbing those toes. We worked on today. Stack it up nice and tall. Right arm inside the right leg. Left arm reaches up and over. And then we'll lower down towards that right knee. Back to center, sit the little legs together, sit up nice and tall, big inhale up, exhale, fold forward. One more time, restack, big inhale up, and exhale, fold forward. Great job today, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking it out with me. I hope everyone enjoys the nice weather today. It's like the sun, it's by me, is not out anymore, but I think it is a little warmer. So get out there and enjoy the weather. Uh, hope to see you on Friday at 11 for Cardio Live. Thanks for joining, everybody. See you guys.
Bye.